Welcome to another thought for the day, which is being brought to you by the Methodist Church in Britain and the New River Circuit. It is always my hope and my prayer that as we reflect on issues and on the Word of God together, that we would find strength, we would find hope, it would increase our faith, and that we will be blessed by the things we share. My theme for today's thought for the day is living in unity, living in unity. And it is based on Psalm 133, Psalm 133. And Brother Charles will read for us. Today's Bible reading is taken from the book of Psalms 133. I read, In praise of living in peace, how wonderful it is, how pleasant for God's people to live together in harmony. It is like the precious anointing oil running down from Aaron's head and beard down to the collar of his robes. It is like the dew on Mount Hermon falling on the hills of Zion. That is where the Lord has promised his blessing. Life that never ends. This is the word of God. The psalmist gives a very poetic portrayal of the importance and the benefits of living in unity. Brief as this psalm is, it opens with a very powerful assertion. It proclaims a very inclusive message. A message suitable for all relational situations, whether it be family, community, work, church, and in the world as a whole. If there's one thing that I've learned from this lockdown situation over the past three months, is that as human beings, we are very much relational beings. And this says to me that as human beings, we were never meant to live in isolation. No man, no human being is an island. We, our lives, this situation has shown us that our lives are so much dependent upon others. And I want to say to us that at the heart of our relation must be unity. And this unity that we so much need must be rooted in mutual love. If we do not love each other or one another, it makes it even more difficult and I may even dare say impossible for us to live together. We have to differentiate though between unity and tolerance. I believe unity is that cohesive and lasting force while tolerance is fragile and often short-lived. You may be able to tolerate someone for a short while, but in my view that is not unity. Unity is when we can live together in peace. And that is what the psalmist is saying, uh, talking about how good and pleasant it would be to see us as human beings living in peace and in unity. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we need to understand that it is only the language of love 
which is able to communicate across the divide. Yes, we are different people. We have different ethnicity. We have different traditions, different cultures. But true love transcends all boundaries. Whether the boundary be political, cultural, religious, or even racial. And this is especially so when the language of love is demonstrated and evidence not simply by words but in deeds we know that actions speak louder than words we live in a world where that word love is being brandished around but it's easy to talk about love but love that is demonstrated in action speaks a lot more and speaks volumes of the unity that exists between us as people. The psalmist testifies that the unity bestows profound blessings. Bible tells us that unity and love covers a multitude of evil. You see, when we love people, we tend to look beyond their faults and see as our common humanity and their needs. Unity and love cannot be separated because they are intertwined. They are inseparable. Love looks beyond even our visible differences and expose our common humanity. It shows that we have more in common than what divides. You see, when we are living in unity, part of that, those blessings would be that unity based on love enhances the quality of our personal and our corporate lives. Unity based on love eradicates evil such as envy, malice, racism, discrimination. Matter of fact, instead it promotes human equality, freedom, and unlimited opportunities. It is so disturbingly ironic that in the 21st century, in what we like to describe as the age of enlightenment, that as the human race, we are still struggling to unite. I want to say to us that the unity we seek or desire is not beyond us, but it takes a united effort and understanding that we are all in this together and the further understanding that unity is, is strength. United we stand, divided we fall. May the love of God in Jesus Christ that promotes unity be enshrined in all our hearts. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, we praise you that your love extends to all. That your love is not limited to time and place, but extending to the ends of the earth. Your love reminds us that every person, every individual is precious in your sight. Gracious God, we can never thank you enough for everything your love means and all it can accomplish. The power to transcend all boundaries, eradicating prejudices, healing rifts, building and strengthening relationships. Loving God in a world riddled with equality, we pray for all who still face discrimination rejection, hostility, or abuse.
for countries, communities, and continents that are divided. We pray for a willingness to see beyond differences and to see shared values and aspirations. Sovereign God, tend your broken world, amend its divisions, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Give their daughters hands.